so yeah, I get this single cut here that we sold, except the base, the guy that bought it wants a three band instead of a, um, a two band. So right now we've got volume, volume, tone, and then treble and bass with passive here. So I'm going to change it to volume blend, uh, and then probably bass, mid, and treble. And I got the three band right here, which we do. We build these by hand um, and test them um, still, old school. Um, so we're going to do that. Basically what I'm going to do is take the existing preamp out of the bass and just install a new one from scratch. That way we have a pre-wired two band that we can use for whatever if we decide to. So um, Actually, I think I'm going to do mid-range and then treble and bass. So this will be a pull mid-range. So you have two frequencies there. By the way, these knobs are made by Devin, Devin Klein, who works here. Pretty slick, slick work there. Nice thick brass insert in there, set screw, bell shaped. So I like those quite a bit. This is a SC5. So. And this cover, we cut it on the laser machine before we glued this onto the back of the body so this is the actual wood that matches perfectly and the, the laser leaves a nice thin just about the perfect kerf so we don't have to worry about wood shrinking or the cover getting too tight so i gotta take this all apart and pull all this out of here the guts yeah so you can see mo mo put this one in here get a sense of cleanliness of the work here you still like doing this uh, this kind of work too uh, I kind of like yeah wiring preamp I don't do it very often like this is probably the first time I've done this in a couple months mm -hmm. <laughs> there's something sculptural about uh, you know uh, and just to make it nice and aesthetically appealing where the wire lengths are ideal and they're all running nice and it's it's just really fun to, to, to do that and I tend to do them I never do them exactly the same. Mm -hmm. It always ends up being a little bit different. A little bit of improv and yeah. sort of creative process. Exactly. So yeah, like I don't want to have a lot of um, thread hanging up above this. So I got two of those uh, lock washers on the back. Mm -hmm. Cool. So this is coming from a straight you're just doing um not a harness you're just you're oh you're no strapped. yeah this is this is raw raw unfinished preamp <laughs> nice this will be the volume pot which somebody's done some pre-wiring on there let me move this out of the way a little bit here okay that's the blend pot right here so you can see it's got two sets of contacts on it. And this is the mid pot. So again that has it Somebody, has a mid select in that? Yeah this. Okay. From this side. Teflon wire is slippery. Most trick here. Works rather well. He's a smart fella. Yeah. ground the cases of all the pots hmm. so it's just extra insurance I mean the the I mean you can see that there's foil in here mm -hmm. and if the pot is securely screwed into the foil it should make good contact but what if you're after years and years 
your lugs work themselves loose and the pot gets loose and then your ground contact gets loose and it just it's just it's just a redundancy that I like to have in the game to make sure that you know it's as bulletproof as we can get it. So they're just hanging in there by tension right now. Okay. That's my favorite way to do it. So then you can just Okay, Ooh. now in the vein of you know, grounding to the case, to that, I want to have everything connected also to the foil okay. as an extra connection. So, um, you know, a lot of guys talk about, you know, star grounding, but I don't think that really applies on something this small and this dense. Uh, there's just not enough room for stuff to get. Mm -hmm. um, Ground loops to develop. Um, so my approach is foil mm -hmm. in there and on the cover, which connects via these tabs that hang over, right? Here we go. These little guys here. So that's a sealed up foil enclosure. And then all the cases just get soldered to the foil. Um, so, and then also to the jack. So you have, again, redundancy built into it that hopefully is gonna give you the most bulletproof, uh, reliable setup that that you could want. I'm going to use a razor blade to hold them down so it doesn't act as a heat sink. It's just a tiny point of contact. Neck pickup. Let me put it back together and we'll go plug it in and see All if right. it works. So pan. Yep, that's the bridge. And again, that's the uh, SC5? SC5, and we replaced our two-band preamp with a three-band preamp. And so we got volume, blend, mid-range, treble, and bass. That's passive. Better check that. Works. And then mid-range frequency on the mid-range knob. 